Hi everyone, Magnus here and welcome back to my channel. Today I got a good video for you. I am going to talk about my work with Alexander Skarsgård for the role as Amleth in The Northmen. I have to start by saying that this has been one of the most fun projects I've been working on. I feel extremely lucky that I got the opportunity to work with Alex once again. As you might know, I work with him on Tarzan as well, and he's also a good friend. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to talk about our work on this uh, movie. So I heard about this project five years ago. It's been a long movie in the making, and I know that Alex has been wanting to make a Viking movie for a long time. So I actually been walking around for a couple of years just waiting for that phone call that we had a green light to do this fantastic Viking movie. When I did, I got really excited. And I'm gonna try to cover as much as possible about the process and uh, I'll probably forget a few things and I'll make another video or two down the line about all the details, you know, diets and training cycles and how it is to be on a movie set and what I do on a movie set. So when I got the call from Alex about this movie, we didn't have much time to waste. The movie was already green-lighted and we needed to start prepping him right away. I was in LA at that time and Alex was shooting a TV series up in Vancouver. I had to pack my bags, get on the first flight to Vancouver. So we actually did a lot of the prep the first two months in Vancouver. When prepping Alex in Vancouver, he had days and sometimes a week off where he would travel somewhere else to do something else. Those days or weeks, he would have a program that I gave to him and I would follow up with him remotely, making sure that everything went according to plan. Sometime in February, we both left for Belfast, Northern Ireland, where we were filming. Normally, when doing a big movie, you travel ahead of time, let's say anywhere from four to eight weeks to really intensify and start to work on everything from stunts to having reading tables when you read through the script, costume fittings, and everything that needs to be done to prepare you and everyone else for the movie. So these four to eight weeks before your start to film is probably the most challenging weeks for the actor. Problem on a diet as well to shred some fat. That's normally what we do the last four to eight weeks. For Alex, we only needed like a three week diet. So he was happy about that. He likes to eat food. A normal day in Belfast for Alex was training with me in the morning. We had this really nice garage gym that we set up in his house where he stayed. Then we would go to the studio and we would do stunt rehearsals and he would do a bunch of other stuff. I was with him during the stunt rehearsals just to you know, see what they did. We had an awesome stunt team there who took great care of Alex. Not only looked the part, he actually moved like the part as well. I always talk about building a character. It's important who your character is, where he's from, how he moves. You really want to implement that into the character and the training. When we talked about this character, we knew that we wanted something that was a little bit bigger and thicker than Tarzan, which was my last movie with Alex. We weren't too worried about the body fat. We wanted someone who could tower up and be a little more intimidating. And if you've seen the movie, you also know that Alex and his berserkers, they're either wolves or bears. The bears were bigger and stronger. The wolves relied more on technique and movement than just brute strength. Amleth, Alex's character is a hybrid between both. So we wanted that size, that strength, but we also wanted him to be able to move like a wolf. We also knew that he would move around a lot fighting with an ax, swinging an ax. So that was also important for us to really make sure that we prepped his shoulders and hips to be able to do this day in and day out for many, many months. It is important to know that when making a movie like this, even though you really want the character to look a certain way, it's even more important to make sure that they stay injury free. If 
your actor would get injured while filming. They would have to shut down. It would cost millions of dollars. It would be a disaster for everyone. So that is kind of the number one priority when working on something like this. I can also mention that when training in prep, the sessions were a little bit longer and tougher than while filming. Before we get into the actual training and one of Alex's sessions, I just want to mention that when filming for this long, when prepping someone, working on a movie set and going through this for a whole year, you do change things up, you do adapt. So when you see my programs, it's the ideal program for someone to build the same physique like Alex did. So it is the program that I use for him. With that said, we had to make small adjustments during certain periods of filming. My program is a typical program of what Alex would go through on a daily basis. So this program consists of a four day split where you work out five days a week. That means that fifth day will be a repetition of the first day in the program and they keep that rolling. You'll always prioritize a body part each and every week. A four day split means that you work through the whole body in four days. You actually target certain body parts or muscle groups one day and then allow them to rest while you're targeting other muscle groups the day after. For the Northmen, we also did a little less cardio than usual. You see, we wanted Alex to gain size and mass and I didn't want to compromise with doing too much cardio that would take away energy from our main objective and goal. So this four split program consists of strength training, big compound movements, but also a few isolated strength exercises. On top of that, there's a whole lot of exercises and movements to prep the shoulders and hips. As I said before, Alex is a Viking who needs to swing around a sword and we needed to make sure that really prime his shoulders and hip for that. The thing that sticks out in this program compared to my other programs is that we did a little less high intensity interval training, a little less cardio, and this was to allow Alex to build the most muscle mass as possible. And we weren't too worried about keeping the body fat extremely low, even though it was kind of low anyways. Another thing that sticks out in this program is that every day I have a banded warm up, and that's for shoulders and hips to get primed for the actual workout and to be able to handle all that movement. These bands are actually really good to use on set as well to pump up. If you don't know where to get these bands, I'm gonna drop a link in the description below. These are actually mine. They're not made out of rubber, but they're elastic, so the quality is really high. And if you need some bands, you know where to get them. Okay, let's get into the actual workout. What I wanna show you today is a typical day from Alex's back session. So I've told you Alex was on a four split program. And what that would look like is that we did legs, on day one, day two would be chest, day three would be back, and day four would be arms. On top of that, we did cardio, we did the banded warm-ups, and we also did core every single day. If you know me by now, you know that I love to do core with almost every session, but I make sure to target different core muscles with every session. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing we do is a five to 10 minute on the rower. The reason I like the rower is that it activates the back and the core, and that is exactly what we're working today. Then we go into our banded warm up. So we're gonna use the long super bands for this one. We're doing three exercises back to back for one set. We're starting with a straight arm pull down. Make sure to shrug back, squeeze the shoulders, explosive on the way down and slowly come back up. Make sure you got tension in the band throughout the whole movement. Our second exercise is a wide upper back pull. Here you wanna make sure that you lower your shoulders, but at the same time, you get your elbows out to the side while pulling straight back towards your face. Keep tension in the band throughout the whole movement. Our third exercise here is a lateral wood chop. Here we're gonna explode 
into rotation and then slowly come back. Make sure that you have tension in the band through the whole movement, but also that your hands and your grip is in between your chest throughout the whole movement. So I'm doing 10 reps on all of these and for one round. Our next exercise is a farmer's walk. This is something you can do either with dumbbells or kettlebells. Here I'm doing 30 reps or 30 steps and then I rest for about a minute to 90 seconds. This is something I do for 30 steps and three rounds. Next exercise is a lat pull down with a wide grip. A lat pull down is actually two movements where you lower your shoulders and then you pull the actual bar down. Slowly come back up, make sure to stretch out your shoulder and then you repeat. Here we're doing 10 reps and for three sets. I try to rest about two minutes in between every set on this one. Our next exercise is an alternating standing row. We're doing 16 reps, which means eight reps on each side, and then for three rounds with about a two minute rest in between. You wanna make sure to drop the dumbbell into the middle and rotate and explosively pull back up all the way up to your hip. Make sure to squeeze your shoulder blades at the bottom. Our next exercise is a straight arm lift rotation for 16 reps, which means eight on each side. And here I'm resting about 90 seconds to two minutes in between every set. And I'm doing this for three rounds. Start in a push-up position, rotate straight out and up. Try to create a straight line between your left and your right hand. Slowly rotate back down, roll over the dumbbell and repeat on the other side. Our next exercise is a kneeling halo or a tall kneeling halo. So here I'm sitting down on my knees, I'm bracing the core, I got my arms tucked in and the kettlebell in front of you. Make sure not to put it on your chest. Make sure not to lay your elbows back too far behind your body. Do this for 10 reps and three rounds. Rest about a minute in between every set. And our final exercise of the day is a core exercise and it's a rolling knee tuck. So here we're gonna work for time instead of reps. Clinch your hands behind your head, roll up into a hollow hold, feet up, and then slowly roll out to 45 degree angle. Make sure that your elbows or arms are not touching the ground. Lift your knee up, and then slowly roll out to the other side. So we're doing this for one minute with one minute rest in between sets and for three rounds. So this is just one typical day out of a six week program. If you think this program might be something for you, check this out. You might know that I have a training app with all my superhero programs, but did you also know that I have a nutrition guide? The guide includes healthy tips, grocery shopping lists, and daily eating plans. For as low as 27 cents a day, you can get access to all of this, including all of my training programs. All right, that's it for me. I hope I made some sense when I was talking about my work with Alex for the Northmen. I am gonna do more videos, obviously, so if you feel like you wanna know more that I didn't cover everything, go on my channel and check out the other videos that I've done, because there's gonna be more of these videos. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you next week.